Welcome back. In this step, we are going to make this image really look beautiful, get rid of most of the artifacts, hopefully, and have a final image that we can show off to people so they can see just how much you've learned in Maya. To get us started then, let's just turn off this IPR rendering, and I'm gonna close that window for now. And we're gonna go back into our render settings, which is up here, and let's get this set up for some nice rendering. So I'm now gonna go up to, I'm gonna do 720p. If you want to have a really high resolution image and you've got the time, by all means go for 1080 or higher. Uh, but because I want this to finish at some point soon, I'm going to just leave mine at 720. I'm also just going to scroll up and I'm going to choose the image format that I want this to be saved in. I'm going to go for PNG. I like a PNG. Next we'll go into the Arnold renderer and we need to up this camera AA. My advice for this is keep it as low as you can while still getting rid of those artifacts. As I was doing the prep for this, I upped the camera AA to 10, I think, and the render just for one frame took about two hours, which is a long, long time. Maybe try out different settings and get something that you're happy with, but we need to get rid of as much of those artifacts as we can. So I'm gonna have a go at five, and if that doesn't give me the effect I want, I'll take it up higher. What you might also want to do is if you're getting any breakup in any of your shadows, you might want to go into the light, so let's just say this area light for instance, and up the samples of the light. And you'll see that, so breakup just looks like individual pixels, like it was in the last step where we got some ugly pixels underneath this. If you're seeing that on anything, you can try upping your shadow samples. I'm gonna leave mine where they are for now, and we're gonna do a render. So let's set that going, so I'm gonna go to Arnold and render. That's telling me it's done, and I've still got a lot of breakup and a lot of artifacting, so that is something that I'm going to want to address. So let's go back into my render settings. Let's up those samples to eight, and you'll see um, that these numbers jump up as I do that. So eight, there we go, and we will render again. So I'm going into my render menu on the Arnold Render View, and we'll just click on Update Full Scene. So the rendering has just completed. You can see down here that it took almost 20 minutes. So going up from five samples to eight there <laughs> added a lot on to the render time. And you can see that it's still not really done enough on the noise here. So what I'm gonna do is drop the amount of emission down, especially on the red. The blue's not too bad, but the red needs to come down because the render is having a tough time with it. And I don't really want to waste three hours rendering this if I don't have to. So let's go in here and we'll just make that change. So I've got it at 200. Let's try something more reasonable like 10. And if I don't like it, I can always change it again later. And we'll do the same for the mana liquid just to keep things consistent. This is a good opportunity to show you something that can be a big time saver when you are working on particular spots in your render. The bit I'm interested in here is where the red is below the bottle. So what I'm gonna do is only concentrate on that. So if you click on this button here, you can draw a marquee selection around just the bit that you want to be rendered, which I'm gonna try and keep as small as possible, which is about that. And then you can change your parameters here. So I'm gonna try six on the diffuse, and I'm gonna take it up to six on the camera AA. I'm gonna leave everything else at two. It might need a little bit more on the specular, but this is something that you have to experiment with when you're having issues with your renders. So now what we'll do is we'll just IPR render and it will only render within this square that we've defined. So you can see now that the rendering, though it's still taking a long time, is only needing to happen within this rectangle. And I'll know much more quickly whether or not I've managed to sort out the noise in the red color that's being cast onto the table. And as this renders finishing up, whilst there is still a little bit of noise that could be sorted out by raising these values further, they're now good enough for me for the purposes of what I'm doing in this tutorial. So let's turn off the crop region. And this will now want to render the whole thing. I just want to press stop there. I don't want it to do it on an IPR render. We're just going to go to render and update full scene.
So that's the rendering complete then. And that means that this step about setting up for your final render is also complete. There is just one more thing I want to show you in this step, and that's how to save your image once the render's complete. I'm just going to show you on this one that's currently completing, because I'm doing this a little bit out of order. Uh, but what you do, once your render's complete, in your Arnold render view, you can just go to File, Save Image. It will put you in the Images folder of your project, and then you just need to give it a name. And then save it. And that will save out your image into that folder so that you can put that into other applications or share it online or do whatever you want. All that remains now is for you to go to the next step for your final challenge. See you there. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.